Um, I'm going to tell you there was an interesting client who came in yesterday, wonderful woman actually, and she was on a ketogenic diet. And the reality was she was not getting the results she wanted on the keto diet because she was missing certain nutrients to be able to process fats for fuel effectively. You know, everybody thinks, oh, I'm going to eat a food and it's going to be great for me. I'm going to read this blog post. I'm going to see this summit. And all of a sudden, wow, you know, this diet's fantastic. And many of these diets are, you know, I love the fasting. I love the ketogenic diet. I love the vegan diet. I mean, there's all these different diets out there. And I see some of my clients are thriving on some while others don't. What is it the thing that separates people out? Is it genetics? Not always. Oftentimes it's something called nutrigenomics or their ability to use the nutrients they have to metabolize the food they're eating. So let's look at this with fats, okay? So normally fats come into the human body and you're chewing it and of course you're swallowing it and then you're hopefully breaking apart with bile and lipase. And so if you have something like celiac disease or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or something that causes fat malabsorption, maybe you have a gallbladder removal, whatnot, then you might have problems getting the fats in. But once the fats are in, you want to be able to take those fats and you want to pull them into your cells and you want to have them go down to something called the mitochondria, a part of the cell that will burn all those trapped calories and fats for fuel. Now, how you do that is you take the fat and you actually shuttle it through the wall of the mitochondria in something called the carnitine shuttle. And once it goes in there and then all of a sudden it gets what's called oxidized through something called beta oxidation and it's broken down into these little chunks of fuel called acetyl-CoA. This whole process is really brilliant, it's amazing, it's fascinating and each little step of the way there are specific nutrients that are needed. So before the fat even gets into this carnitine shuttle you need something called magnesium. A mineral, we all know that. <laughs> People are saying it's the most important mineral in the human body for good reason. There are over 300 reactions, enzyme reactions in the human body that need magnesium. Why? Because magnesium positions ATP in enzymes to be used to power the reactions. So anytime you see ATP in a reaction, you need magnesium. Well, in order to get longer chain fats into the carnitine shuttle, you need magnesium. Now, once it's in there, it goes into that shuttle, then it goes past the shuttle and it gets broken down again via an, another specific enzyme that needs something called flavin adenine dinucleotide or FAD. This is basically a riboflavin dependent substance, the flavin ring from riboflavin. That's B2. So now, so far, we see we need magnesium, we need carnitine, we need B2 just to get fats going down the line. There's another enzyme, the L-beta-hydroxyacyl-CoA dehydrogenase enzyme, and that particular enzyme needs a niacin derivative called NAD. So now we need niacin, now we need riboflavin, now we need magnesium, and we need carnitine just to get the fats down to a place where we can actually turn them into ketones. So the ketone bodies are built off of the acetyl-CoA. All right, so I'm consuming lots of fats. I want to be able to shuttle this in. I need all these specific nutrients. Otherwise, I don't get the results I want. And how do you track that? How do you know if someone's not getting the results they want? Well, number one, their thinking isn't so hot. Number two, their skin might not be so fabulous. Their energy might not be so fabulous. They might not be getting the results they're expecting from this specific high fat diet. You can run a nutrient analysis. You can run something called an organic acids panel or a nutrient evaluate pa panel called NutriEval or ION. I run those two from Genova Diagnostics. And you can determine from these results if this person is having that problem. There are specific markers. One is called adipate, another is called suberate or adipic acid and suberic acid that come out in their urine. So you can actually look at the urine and say, wait a second, this person isn't pulling the fats into the mitochondria for fuel very well. So here's an example of the person I saw yesterday. They have these fats coming in and these fats are being turned into adipic acid. They're not coming through the mitochondria. They're not being turned into acetyl-CoA very effectively. Therefore, we need to assume maybe they don't have enough carnitine, maybe they don't have enough magnesium, maybe they don't have enough riboflavin, maybe they don't have enough niacin to make this happen. So they may be eating these amazing sources of energy and not turning them into energy. This could be problematic for people over time. So what do you do? Well, number one, you order these tests through a functional medicine practitioner like myself, and then you determine from these tests via multiple different markers, pages of information, whether or not these nutrient cofactors that are necessary for this, including riboflavin, uh-oh, this particular person 
was deficient in riboflavin. Niacin, they're moderately deficient. Magnesium, deficient. So we say, oh my goodness, this person may be doing the exact wrong diet for the nutrients that they have available for metabolism. That doesn't mean they need to shift their diet. They could increase their nutrients. So that's what they're attempting to do right now. They have a fantastic spouse who's well-educated on this ketogenic diet. I have, I have every bit of faith that they're going to succeed in this process, but they need some nutrient assistance in order to succeed. So if you are on a ketogenic diet, a high fat diet, and you are not finding the success you, you desire, then please see a functional medicine practitioner, get some nutrient panel testing, Consider, if you're on a high-fat diet, the need for carnitine, the need for riboflavin, niacin, and magnesium. Please share this PowerPoint presentation with your healthcare practitioner, whoever you're dealing with, and hopefully uh, they can make you feel fabulous. That's what this is all about. All right, my friends, take care. I hope this assists you. Optimal health to you. Bye-bye.